Hello my beauty! So I decided to record an updated foundation routine video for you guys just because what I've used has definitely changed since the last video. Now I use three different products to get the right foundation match. That's because the skin color on your cheeks is different from that of your jawline and your forehead. Let's get started. So the first thing I do is I start off with a primer and I really like the Illamasqua Hydra Veil because it's very moisturizing as well as the fact that it holds your foundation in place. I'm in love with the Illamasqua Skin Base Foundation. It's so natural on but it looks like you're covered at the same time. And I take Skin Base number 11 and I put a little bit on my hand and to that I add number 12, about an equal amount. Now I take the Skin Base Mixer in Terracotta. Now this is such a fabulous product because it really allows you to customize the foundation to suit your skin tone. And I take only about a pea sized amount and mix it in with the rest of the foundation. Now onto my absolute favorite tool to apply foundation. This is the Beauty Blender sponge. It's an egg shaped sponge that you squeeze into some water and you squeeze all the excess out and basically the water fills up the sponge so when you apply your foundation it doesn't get sucked up into the sponge. Now onto the application. So I'm applying that color along my jawline and my forehead just to brighten those areas because they are a little bit darker than the rest of my face. This color is really going to brighten and it's going to make it look like the discoloration really isn't there. Now make sure that you blend the edges out so that the application looks really nice and smoothly applied. Now on to the forehead. Now the thing that I love about the Beauty Blender is you can take any full coverage foundation and applying it with this, it will make it look so nice and natural. So that's done, now let's move on to the center of the face. So I'm going to take Skin Base 11 and 12 and mix equal parts again on my hand. Um, this time I'm not taking the mixer though. I'm going to pick it up with my sponge again and apply it to the center of the face. Now when I'm applying it, I'm not going over the concealer that I've already applied. I'm just going towards the edge of it so that it all blends together. Now in the first step, because I had taken the terracotta mixer into the foundation, it really helped me cover up the darker pigmentation, but now I'm going to take this foundation and apply it over top to make it all look seamless and blended in like one color. Take the pointy side of the sponge to get into the smaller areas like on and around the nose. And don't forget to cover your jawline and your neck as well. And we're done. Now it's time to set this all and I'm using the NARS Translucent Powder in Crystal and I'm going to pick it up with a dome shaped eyeshadow brush. With the smaller brush, I can get really nice and close into the eyes and nose to set that area well. And now I like to take my big fluffy brush to set the rest of the face. And we're done. And now on how to clean your sponge. So Beauty Blender sells this great uh, sponge and brush cleanser. You just rub your sponge against the soap and the grate and that's going to basically um, get all the soap in there and you rinse it out. And when you get the clean sponge, it looks brand new. It's bright pink like it was before. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next week.